a little while. Well, hello, YouTube. I was looking for our grass spider that's on this yucca stalk, and I don't find it. So I think this stink bug ate our spider. All right, not really. Uh, we are going to take a look at the wolf spider that you saw right at the very beginning. And then we're going to go down low, not here, but next to a hay bale, and look at a funnel web spider. And then we're finally going to come back to the yucca stalk here before all of the blossoms had fallen and look at the what I believe is a grass spider. So three different species of spiders that all look very similar and all can be found outdoors in Northeast Texas rather abundantly. Come along, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. This is a, what I kept calling a garden spider. Actually, it's either gonna be a grass spider or a wolf spider, and this is one that we caught in our breezeway and in our garage. So we'll need to ID this one. Yeah, I'm thinking it is either a grass spider or a wolf spider based on that pattern on the back of it. But I just gotta look it up. I don't have my mac, uh, my little lens, my macro or whatever that little one's called. That's a pretty good sized spider. I mean, there's my hand for comparison. I'm surprised she's so frozen, but she was in that container for a little while. Oh, did you see that? She kind of, she kind of lunged at me for just a second there. And I'm gonna have to compare the, the video and the photos, but she's definitely got the eyes in front like the, the mommy one that we caught on film did. So it may be the same type. Anyway, thought that's pretty cool. You know, from a distance, she just blends right in. What? What spider? There she is. A garden spider, as we used to call them growing up. Probably either a grass spider or one of the varieties of wolf spider. So, pretty cool. And just for a real quick public service announcement, that's where the uh, the wolf spider was. I wasn't sure at the time which it, which it was. I looked it up and I believe it to be the rabid Texas wolf spider. Uh, always, when you're watching our videos, be sure and check the description. Sometimes when I find something out later, I'll uh, put the information down in the description below. So check those out and check out all of our other spider videos and creepy crawlies as well. All right, now to continue on with the on a web spider. Hope that she doesn't hear me or isn't that scared of me, but we've got a funnel web spider right on there. I'm gonna get as close as I can and I'm also gonna try and pull her out for a close-up. So I, we can kind of look at her features and do a little bit of ID with her. But so far, I don't think you can see much color. Hmm, I wonder how well you're able to see her. She left. All right, got her in here. She's in that final little spot of the web. Let's see if I can get her to come out. There she is. She kind of turned on us. So you see how similar she looks to the grass spider and the wolf spiders? This is a funnel weaver. Nurse, uh, I don't know if it's the same as a nursery spider. And look, you can see the spinneret. She has a very elongated, I don't know if you can see it now, spinneret. Key feature.
Pretty cool, huh? And it's been about five days, but this spider is still here on the yucca stalk. And to me, she looks a little bit skinnier, so I don't know if she's getting enough prey, enough food up here or not, but uh, she's still here. And the uh, yucca stalk is about to open up and bloom. So, anyway, I just found it curious that she's still here. But like I say, she's not looking super fatter and everything, so hopefully she's doing all right. Well, the yucca plant has leafed out, and the spider's still here, holding her post. Or his post, but I think it's probably... I think it's probably a female. And I'll show you, there's nothing to fear on these type of spiders. Let's see if I can get her to come around to your side. Well, there's no sense in provoking her any more than that. She's just guarding her post, trying to catch a little bit of food. And one last video. Spider still looks about the same size, but uh, must be surviving on something because it's still here. And the yucca is just about petered out. Most of the blooms have fallen off. Anyway. Thought I'd show you the last little wrap-up of, uh, of this spider here.